Hi, welcome back to Guardian Angel Resin Creations. Um, today I'm going to pour into my little lid mold that I did. So today I'm using um, Bilnance Ultra Clear. It is Australian owned and operated. Um, it's, um, it's super, super clear. Some of them I've found when you do the lids, you can actually see that um, the yellowing in the epoxy because um, a couple of my platinums are yellow already. So um, I made one of these the other day. This has actually got a tiny little bit of blue in it, but it's beautiful and clear. I didn't wait for it to debubble, so so I need to do that today. So I am going to just weigh weigh out my my resin. I'll give it a mix and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. I have mixed up my resin. Um, I've let it sit for about mm, probably 10 minutes now since I finished mixing. Um, I just wanted to show you, this is when I did the other day. Um, I didn't have it sitting right. So it's thinner on one side than it is the other and when I took it off out of the mold I actually sat it in here well because these um, cure up take a long longer to cure up it actually sunk in the middle so which is no good for when you're putting something in there because it won't work so um, leave them for another 24 hours before you actually put the lids on so that they are rock hard so that um, they're not going to move when you put the little bit of heavy resin in there. So, right, so I've let it sit. It's absolutely crystal clear. It's got no bubbles in it. I don't have a debubble or anything. I just have nothing really. And this is such a good resin. Doesn't get a lot of bubbles in it when you're mixing it. It's a very, very thin. So I'm just putting a equal amount in each you definitely don't want it domed so um, I find if you've got the little lip the resin when you're putting it into the coasters it actually will sit in the lip and that's how you want it okay so I'm going to set that in my little tray there. Now I'll get a plastic. I'm just going to move it around very gently. Move it to the edges. The other day I put mine in my little, um, oh, what is it called? My little de food dehydrator. And my children, grandchildren have been playing with it and it wasn't level. So that's why mine didn't turn out level. And there we go. Oh, that looks good. That's to the edge. And this one could probably use a bit more by the looks of it. Not actually touching the bottom of the molds, just pushing the top along. There we go. I will bend down and check to see how these are. If they are too full, I will take some out. Um, hopefully, you cannot see me bending down. They look pretty good. Actually, I actually look really good. So I'll just go across to the other side. I'll just put my little thing in my holder. And this one. Tiny bit more in there. I've got my table pretty level got my little bobbly thing over the side here so that I can see like right there 
so that I can see whether my table is level. Um, that looks better now. I'm going to come down again and just have a look. They all look pretty good. Definitely not domed. So then I will just give this another shake because I found um, with this one, it actually had, they got little bits in it. It went in, I just dropped it in and it just, I don't know, it just got little bits in it for some reason. So sorry about me leaning over. Right, I'm going to give this a really good shake. And I'm just going to drop it on the end of my stick because I only want the tiniest, tiniest bit of colour. And then I'm going to mix pretty quick so that it doesn't get those little things on it. Just drop, drop, and in there. Let's see how we go. Ooh. Did it do anything? Can you see? Um, didn't do much. Put him back over there. Oh, you can't probably can't quite see. I'll move my little thing there. Bit of resin on the hands. So let's just drop again. Just leave us spray. But again. There we go. I just put my hand into my resin. That looks good. That actually hasn't, um, hasn't done what it did yesterday. Like I dropped it in and it just all separated for some reason. So maybe I hadn't mixed the blue properly. I'm not sure. Right, put this lid on so that I don't wear it. This over. Hopefully you can see me mixing. That's just the slightest bit of colour. I'm pretty sure I've just done it the same colour as every one, other one that I've done. It's a bit annoying. Right. Starting to warm up nicely. I'm not sure about how long you've got. About half an hour you've got to work with this one. So, oh, thank you, Kelly, for the wonderful idea of getting that. It saves me so much cleaning. I just put everything into it and then I just give it a spray with alcohol and clean it up later. So, I'm just going to get my little torch. Just give it a bit of a bang. Oh, hopefully I don't see little little bits in it. Like it's it's not old ink. I've only just got it. So that's looking pretty good. Right, we're gonna give this a pull. Pour it in over our stick. Um, yesterday I sprayed it with a bit of alcohol. Maybe I might just give it a bang this time. Pour it from up there. Hopefully you can see me pouring. I have got a little bit of um, excess. I have done enough in here so that I can actually do... Um, the little stand for it so I can see a couple of bubbles in here so I'm just going to get rid of them do a really good bang just get those up pop them <laughs> there's a stubborn little sucker in there just try not to bang it on them here he comes Come, there we go. It's looking pretty good. I will just get one of my little silicon things here. 
make sure it's clean the wipe no, I'm just going to go around the edge it seems to be a lot quicker to do that and then around the top edge there's some big bubbles coming out and then I just normally go like that just to release the bubbles on there give it a tiny tiny click across there and across that way I go across the mold not down on the mold oh, there's a bit of hair in there sorry about my arm everything is in front of me that I use bit of fluff because I do resin outside so stick that there something else in there it's very hard when you resin outside because there's this dust and fluff in the air get them out these bubbles up Go. It's nice and quiet here today. Grandchildren are going back to school. They're starting a new school today. So hopefully it goes well for them. Right. Okay, a couple more in there. Let's get them out. Flip them up. Okay, let's wipe that off. It's looking okay. Give it a little bit more of a bang. Maybe I should have sprayed that alcohol. Maybe I put put them in there when I did the um when I put the silicon stick around it. Don't touch the bottom, just lift the bubbles out. This is self leveling and it will degas itself, but I did not come back to this yesterday when I was doing my other one. I did it late in the afternoon and forgot about it. I see a bubble in there, I just can't get it to lift up. Here we go. It up here it comes there we are gotcha that bit of stuff out now that looks pretty good that looks much better Just pop a couple over there gotcha my flame is on very low. So, oh, let's use the rest, shall we? Pour it in. More bubbles coming up as I'm pouring. The deeper it gets, the better it'll be. So that I can um, give it a better torch. Much better. We'll pay better attention to this one today. So I should have, if I'm lucky, I'll bring that over here. I think you can see it there. That right there. With my little things might have enough to just do the little stand go pour it into that one because i made up a hundred and twelve of of a and 56 of b and that was pretty much spot on for the last of the resin in that container. 
So surprisingly, I had my measurements right, right the way through the bottle. Okay, we dome that a little bit. There we go, and we just pull the rest in there. Because it's definitely a thin resin, it's like water. And I loved using it um, for, I think it's like the crackle effect, the um, the rocks, not the rocks, um, I think yeah, it was called rock something or other. And they, it works beautifully for them. And there you go. So if you're in Australia, give it a go. It is not not expensive at all and sets up beautifully okay nothing in there Let's go across there there's bubbles out that i've just put in there okay that is all done I will see you tomorrow I will let all this set up for 24 hours it doesn't need it it takes about eight hours until it's um, it's set but 24 hours and it's rock hard like this one has not even been 24 hours this has been I did this at about four o'clock this afternoon it is now um, 11 o'clock so what have we got about 20 19 hours and it's rock rock hard so I'll come back to this this afternoon and we'll have a bit of a look I think so I'll catch you shortly hey I'm back I've had um, a cover over the top of it I have um, had a warming mat over it because it is quite chilly here today actually I'm gonna center you up a bit so I've had a warming mat sitting over the top like that. I've just had it sitting on some little, um, what do you call them, like little levelers. So I'm just going to turn off my warming mat. And um, I don't actually like to have it sitting on my brand new cabinet. So... Oh, it's easier to just have it actually just sitting over it because it still does warm the whole area especially with um with the thing that i've just had on because inside it it's got the foil so it actually is like a little warming tent so it warms the whole entire area so it's only been probably about four and a half hours since i did these so you can see that you can I can leave tiny marks with my fingernails but they come straight out so what I'm going to do is I am going to unmold this so while I was off camera I had a bit of a play and I just put in some just some little things actually into the resin so I'm just going to demold this it's probably a tiny little bit soft so I'm just moving it away so that I can actually get it out, pop it out. It's definitely a tiny bit soft. So it looks pretty good. The yellow in it has just, just see the yellow in it. Looks great. So what I'm going to do is I'll, um, find some little trinkety things and put some more in there so you don't need I won't need to put a lot in there because it's already got these in there and it actually looks like they're floating because none of them really sat down into it so I've got um, you know, I've got little leaves a couple of little butterflies a little some little fish in there that you can just see they're just sort of shining in there so some little flowers a teddy bear 
so I will just move these to the side because I am going to still leave these until tomorrow um, there's a little set here that I did last night that still aren't quite quite set so I'm just going to just leave them there as well because they are still quite soft because it is quite cold here today so they have they were really bendy before but they've set up pretty good today so I'm gonna leave them all there and we're gonna find some stuff to put into this so and there's my little my um, little stand so that's still a little bit bendy so I'm gonna leave that in there so I'm going to have a little bit of a play we've got some butterflies and hopefully we are still all in focus bring it down a little bit got a couple of butterflies and I just buy my stuff off Timu it's cheap doesn't take too long to get here uh, I think we'll just put one of them See, I'm not going to have to put an awful lot in here because I have put stuff in the base of it. So I'm going to go... Oops. Sorry, I just dropped my heat mat. I'll just mix my heat mat up first. Oops, just put it over there. And get my little box. So I bought this box off Timu. It comes with 40 something little con empty containers in it and then I just put in my little bags of stuff that I bought. So I've got some little hearts. The lids are quite hard to get open so I'm going to chuck a little heart in there. I will get my tongs, sorry about my arm my tongs and just turn them over so I'm just going to sort of put a couple of random things in the top of there um, maybe another little fish in there as well maybe if oh, helps if I have the thing off the tongs Maybe a pink and yellow fish. And a couple of little sparklies in there. Uh, I have a little spoon here somewhere. Yeah, I just find my spoon. Little sparkles in there. And maybe a couple of these in there. Oh, some of them are really quite hard to get open. What have we got in here? Got a starfish. And the butterfly over and oops a beautiful big teddy bear flower another flower and a bow and a wally I think that will do for the blues. Maybe a couple of purple in there. A couple of more flowers. What's that one? Oh, that's a heart. A couple of moons. See? Get it. Get over there doesn't want to spin over um, 
reckon that's probably enough. Maybe something pink. Bit of pink in there. I like those little circles and stuff. And that is, I have, oh, that's a little fish. Another little heart. Butterfly. And another flower. And, oh, little tiny flowers. I reckon that I'll just put some tiny little ones in there. Thing is, with these lids as well, with these little containers, you have to put them in the right way. Otherwise, you can't get them back in there properly. As you can see by me trying to do it now. So I'm just going to get my diamantes. I haven't got, I haven't put my butterflies in containers yet because I don't actually have enough containers for them yet. So I'm just going to bend over into my little cupboard here and just get some fine little sparkles. Let's put them up there. And get a couple of these out. I've got some super fine little ones. I actually thought that they were a lot bigger when I did buy them. So they're the blue. They show up really nice because they are super fine. And let's do a purple. And if I can get the lid back on. And a pink. And cut the diamantes. I always put diamantes in there because I like a bit of a shine and a sparkle. I'm a sparkle girl. And then we have, we'll do a yellow. And maybe a green. Some of these glow in the dark as well when you shine the light on them. Let's go a purple. And there we go. That is done. There we are. Beautiful. Probably pull, put a couple of bigger pieces in there. A couple of these. Different ones. Blue one. Oh, I found a heart. Nice big heart. Um, what do we got? Let's find that one. And probably that one and the star. There we go. Job done. Beautiful. There we are. So as soon as um, this is all set properly and these aren't bendy anymore, I will come back probably tomorrow morning and show you how to do the lids. Okay, I am back. I, these have all cured really nicely now. Um, so I'm just going to take this out to show you that it's cured. I actually um, sat my little heater mat onto a whole heap of these and I sat it over the top of all of my my little lids and stuff so that it cured. I don't actually sit it on my bench because I don't want to ruin my bench. So there's our little stand all done and complete. So just sit it over there and here's our little coaster ready to go. So 
here's our mold our lid I am just going to give it a little bit of a wipe with a nice clean cloth I'm gonna just see I'm gonna put the stuff around here put the UV around here and then we will just pop that straight out because it's clean and then we will pop it straight into there and I do this in two stages I'm just going to turn on my little blue light here I am outside doing this so please excuse all the the noise because it is quite windy today so I'm going to just put this on an angle and not squeeze an awful lot just put it into the right very edge because you don't want to get it so that it drips over the side and you do want to get it so that it does come up that edge whoops dropped it off just keep going around around and around and around Oh, did it again dropped it off get it round I'm going to just take that out with the tweezers because it now has the resin on it it just oh, oh it's stuck right so we're gonna just pop that out pop that straight in there and stick our light straight on there Give it a bit of a press down. There we go. It's not moving. Just get it around it. Just spin it. Make sure that it's sealed. And it looks like it's sealed all the way around. It's not moving. Beautiful, and we have a beautiful lip on it because I haven't, um, I didn't fill up the moulds. Yeah, beautiful, that's all sealed lovely. So now I move my light and then, because I have a habit of not sealing that inside properly, what I do is I just go around with the finest bit around the edge and it will just drop in to that edge there. And it doesn't affect when you put the top coat on there. It just helps to make sure that you are not pouring resin into it if you haven't got it sealed properly. So spin it around, just get that in there. I've ruined a few of them by not making sure it's sealed properly. So this is just a little bit of insurance. Go. That's all good. Like once um, you have got your top coat on there, you can't even see that you have done that bit. So hopefully you are, you can see what I'm actually doing. So we just spin it around. Go. Just make sure that there's no bubbles. There we are, it's nicely cured. There we go. You won't be able to see the bubbles if you do have bubbles in there once um, once you put your little top coat on there. And then what I do is, because I'm outside, I put it on a little board. This little board here. I just stick it on my little board. And because it's windy today, I'm actually going to put a cover on it. And then I um, I just sit it on my, my papers outside in the sun 
so that it gets that UV on it. So I'm just going to quickly do that. We'll kill it up now. I've got the little top on it, a little resin top. Just want it to show you that it all moves, nothing is stuck. It's only stuck because it's got a bit of static electricity in it. So I think that's the way to go is do the double double edge with the underneath with the um, UV. So I've done all these as well. None of them are sticking. So all of these and it works every time doing it that way. So there we go. I will take some photos for you and thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.